Welcome fellow booktubers! My name is Cheyenne and you may have noticed lately that I have been editing my videos. So now I can be right here, over here, over here, or even down here. Kinda depends on what mood I'm in. <laughs> yeah. So I wanted to do a book review today because usually when I do a book review I am talking about a book that I absolutely love and I'm just going, oh my god I love this book so much. Read it, read it, read it, read it! Okay, so today I'm going to do a book review on a book that I actually don't like. And I feel kind of bad because I feel like every book should have someone that loves it. And I'm sure this book actually does. Thing is that I just didn't like it. So the book in question actually is... Actually, I have two of them. It's Fearless 1, or well, I have them mixed up. <laughs> Fearless 1 and Fearless 2 by Francine Pascal. Okay, so... These are actually three stories in one each, okay, each. Barnes & Noble actually lied to me, said that these were new. They're not, okay? This is three stories in one, three stories in one. And actually, I looked it up, these series go on forever, okay? It's never ending. And the thing is, if I hadn't looked it up, or even notice this down here, I wouldn't have known that this was three books in one because there's never ending. It doesn't change. In fact, they could have stuck these two suckers together. I still wouldn't have known. So, yeah, I was kind of disappointed, actually, because I had such high hopes. And the idea of the story is really cool. It's about a girl named Gaia, and she doesn't have the fear gene, so she doesn't actually experience fear. And she's supposedly really smart and everything and doesn't, you know, she has a common sense so she doesn't go looking for trouble. Except she totally does. They lied on that too, okay? Liar! So I wanted to give this book a good review. I really did. It had a great concept, but the storyline just seemed to be really messed up along the way. I think if the author could have just left some things alone and tried not to complicate everything, it could have been a really great story. But about the characters, okay, so Gaia was actually pretty cool. She was really smart, uh -huh. and, uh, well, she was a really strong girl, I think, and, uh, I don't know, she could have just, like, left some things alone. It would have been cool. Um, Ed was actually my favorite character. I felt really bad for him because he just kept getting his heart broken over and over again, but he was such a good friend and he was always there for Gaia no matter what. He was right there beside her. Sam? Ugh. I feel bad for the kid, really, but he needs to get his freaking stuff together because sometimes I wanted to hit him, other times I wanted to hug him because he was so pathetic, but seriously, dude, grow up hair. Heather is evil. There is no other way to describe her. I tried to find something about her that I liked, but I seriously could not find one thing. And I tried so hard because I knew that she wasn't going to leave. She'd be in these stories forever. And there was nothing. She's just pure evil. And it's hard to just have a character that has nothing likable about them because you always want to find at least one thing so then you can tolerate them through the story. No such luck. But I wanted to give this book a good review. I really did. And I think that a lot of people actually would like this. I know, a f well I don't know a few but I read some reviews and a lot of people seem to like them. I didn't. And I'm not saying that everyone should hate this book. Oh, I don't hate it. No, I do. I don't like these. Okay, I don't even know why I have them. I just, uh, it was, it didn't entertain me. It kind of made me mad. Uh, I don't really, hmm. Uh, it's a cool concept. You know, Ed's a good character. That's pretty much all I have. And I feel bad. If I give this a one out of five stars. Uh, yeah, one. <laughs> And I feel really bad for that, but I know that there are people out there that like this book. So, there's that. Okay, so that's all about me and my hatred. Um, subscribe to me if you want more of my weirdness. Hey, I'm not that weird today. I'm kind of proud. I haven't been making very many faces. <laughs> okay, that's the last one, I swear. Then subscribe to me and follow me on Twitter and stalk me and stuff. I will put the link down in the doobly box so you can do that. And I will also put the link to Booktube Readathon Twitter. 
So then you can follow that if you want to be part of the booktube readathon. I am totally doing it and I'm so excited. So I am planning my to be reads, to be reads, to be, to be, my to be's. Getting all those straightened out and I just got a few and I'm so excited I'm gonna read them and I'm just waiting. So yeah, okay, so subscribe, stalk me, and all that stuff and keep reading because reading is awesome. Alright, so bye booktubers!